Hunters Helping Heroes is treating a group of veterans to a fun day in Crisfield. John Littleton and his wife Sue arranged a fishing trip earlier in the day, and now the vets and their families are being treated to the annual mud ball. Oh, it, it's great, especially for um, veterans and their families that don't get to do a lot of stuff outside or never had an opportunity to do it. Gets them out there and shows them what it's like and introduces them to new things and maybe new experiences that they can actually get into. Oh, it's phenomenal. I've been out with a few groups before, and this group's right up there with the top of all the ones I've been out with. They're, they're great. You know, there's, there, there's people out there to help you get through whatever you're getting through, you know? Seems like all of Crisfield has turned out to thank them for their service. MC Buddy Ward keeps the crowd pumped up in between heats. Somebody down here show me a Delaware driver's license. Somebody show me a Delaware driver's license. Anybody? Oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Look at that, look at that. Boy, you got it, there you go, there you go. I think I saw that picture on the uh, on the most wanted in the in the post office. So somebody check him out, okay? Unlike in some establishments here in Crisfield, smoking is allowed. Come on, now. You can never know what to expect at a mud bog, but you can expect that it's going to be a family event, it's going to be fun, it's going to be full of what we like to call muddy adrenaline, uh, get you going uh, all the way to the end from start to finish. If you're in my class, in your street class, you're going to need a lot of luck to get across there and dodge it whole. If uh, you're in our bigger classes, Unlimited X and something like that, you're just going to need to sit back, pray, hit the pedal, and wait till you get to the end. All day long, John Littleton hasn't asked for a darn thing himself, so we decided the least we could do was give him a ride in Danielle Crockett's truck. This truck's name is Baby Boomer. We got to get under eight. This truck is a 1984 Chevy Silverado built by my dad, uh, and it sat in the garage uh, for a probably good solid seven years. And I said to him, I said, Dad, why'd you build a truck that we can't run? And I begged him for a while, and finally he gave in. But right when they get to the line, there seems to be some problem with the transfer case, and they can't get all four wheels to engage. So are they gonna scratch? Heck no, this country girl's gonna get her done with just two wheels. Looks like I'm a jinx girl. That's all right, we're gonna go through. As you can see, there is no quit down here in Crisfield. We got a chance to honor our country's veterans, treat them and their families to a day of fishing, and run some big bad trucks through the mud. What more could you ask for on a perfect summer day? Hey, get outdoors, Delmarva. Delmarva.